good afternoon my dear student student i going to revise the chapters 1 and 2 the my my last class i already start to revise the chapter 1 i discuss about the what is the definition of topographical map characteristics and importance of the topographical map and the different type of slopes now today i discuss about the main two things the first is the settlement patterns or and also about the drainage system that what is the settlement pattern that how the houses are being found in which way or in which structure that the houses are found in a topographical map what are the types of the settlements they are living in a topographical map this pattern of the settlement is known as the settlement pattern of a topographical map now the settlements are divided into the three parts what are the settlement patterns are divided into three parts what are the three parts first is the nucleated type of settlement or either it known also known as the compact type of settlement second is the linear type of settlement and the third one is the dispersed or scattered type of settlement now what is the nucleated type of settlement that when all the houses that are located that all the houses are located when very close with each other it's like this all the houses when it located very close with each other one small place when all the houses are located very close with each other between a small place this type of settlement pattern is known as the nucleated or compact type of settlement so again i repeat it in which type of settlement pattern all the houses are located very close with each other this type of settlement pattern are known as the nucleated or compact type of settlement now the second is the linear type what is the linear type of settlement that way the houses are being found in a line wise in which type of settlement pattern all the houses are located in a line wise this type of settlement pattern is known as the linear type of settlement again i repeat that in which type of settlement pattern all the houses are found in a line wise this type of settlement pattern are known as the linear type of settlement and the last one is the dispersed type dispersed type means when all the houses are located very far from each other in which type of settlement pattern all the houses are located very far from each other this type of settlements are known as the dispersed or scattered type of settlement again i repeat that what is the dispersed or scattered type of settlement in which type of settlement all the houses are located very far from each other this type of settlement pattern are known as the dispersed or scattered type of settlement now generally this type of settlement it mostly found in the desert area this type of settlements are mostly found beside the roadways railways and river and this type of settlements are mostly found in the most popular the cities and town and also the next one is about the drainage pattern the drainage pattern means always all the rivers and the water bodies that does not flow into the same direction sometimes it flow in the gear and there are the different side different structure it flow so according to it this is a patterns of a river it's known as a drainage pattern so this drainage pattern is divided into the three part first is the dendritic type of drainage pattern second is the radial type of drainage pattern and third one is the third one is the tillis type of drainage pattern now the first one is the dendritic type of drainage pattern that way all the rivers from the main river when the others rivers are being come out from the main rivers and it look like the branches of the tree this type of the river pattern when the small rivers are come out from the main river this type of the river pattern is known as the dendritic type of drainage pattern the second one is the radial type what is the radial type that way from the one particular place when the rivers are come out from here like the volcanic eruption like when the volcanic eruption is occur that we know that during the volcanic eruption from a volcano from a volcanic mount the rivers are being uh, the lava has been flow so like the same way from the particular portion of a mountain that when the rivers are start to flow in the different directions this type the river pattern is known as the radial type of drainage pattern and the last one is the treeless type that when all the rivers from the outside they join with the main river into the 90 degree angle this type of river pattern is known as the treeless type of drainage system again i repeat the drainage system is divided into the three part first one is the dendritic type of drainage pattern second one is the treeless type of drainage pattern and the third one is the radial type of drainage pattern first is the dendritic type when the other small rivers it come out from the main river into the different directions this type of the river pattern is known as the dendritic type of drainage pattern the second is the radial type 
that when the all the rivers are come out from the mountain or the like the volcanic eruption from a particular place of the mountain or glacier. This type of drainage pattern is known as the radial type of drainage pattern. And the third one is the trellis type. That way all the small rivers are joined with the main river into the 90 degree angle. This type of river pattern is known as the trellis type of drainage pattern. So these are the things and one more thing that is about the occupation. From the topography and map by the same color we have to identify about the occupation. By which way that the different colors they represent the different things that we know before only. Like the yellow color, they represent the agricultural land. So those area it cover with the yellow color. We can understand this area of people, their main occupation is the agriculture. The second is the green color. Those are the area that being green color in nature. That area the people they use the their main occupation. That is the, uh, collecting the forest things or the animal rearing these are things. Those are the area found most of the rivers. These are the people's main occupation was the fishing. And also those are the area they have lots of transportation, the roadways and railway networks. They have their main occupation is the trading. Those area they have the, the hotels. Their main occupation is the tourism. So by this way, from seeing the color, signs, symbols, we can identify that the occupation of that particular place people. So today, after here that we have to discuss, and in my next class, that we have to discuss the others or the next chapter that we are going to discuss. So thank you.